Today on the channel, we got a big one. We got possibly the biggest Super 7 Ultimate figure so far for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line, as we got Wingnut and Screw Loose. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today, we got an oversized, giant-sized Wingnut and Screw Loose. But for all your Wingnut Screw Loose needs, make sure you end up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there in stock right now at Entertainment Earth. You can also go to the Super 7 website. And if you're checking out, put in code KYLE P to support this YouTube channel. There you go. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, see what's going on. You can see this is a giant size package on this one. I should also remember, I always forget that slipcase cover. We've got the giant size slipcase cover as well. Wingnut, side of the good, so he's in green. Got the manhole cover. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the back as well. There it goes. See you later. But the big, big box right here on these two. Look at this. We've seen these guys from NECA, of course, Playmates over the years. This is the biggest wing nut and screw loose have ever been. A big, big deluxe figure. Can't wait to get him out of the package here. Of course, turtle logo, wing nut, screw loose, big window box, green brick for the good guys, as usual. Same things on the side. Then on the back, got the blurb. Let's see what it says about wing nut and screw loose here. Uh, Dingbat buddies who bite the baddies. Wing nut, the klutzy cape vampire bat, quietly hung out on his home planet, Huanu. That is, until Krang destroyed it. Saved and sucked into a vortex before his planet exploded, Wingnut ended up on Earth along with Screw Loose, a level headed Huanu Mosquito. Furious and frantic that Krang obliterated his planet, the crazed Wingnut out to get even with Krang or anyone else associated with the bubbling brain. That makes him a perfect ally with the turtle teens. Despite Wingnut's bloodshot eyes, defective radar, stunted wings, and oversensitive ears, he's determined to be a sewer superhero. A man like a young Charles Bronson in Death Wish out for revenge. That's exactly what it is. The story of Wingnut and Screws. There it goes. Big yellow in the back, green and gold attack like a young Oakland A's. See you later, goodbye. And then we got the big plastic prison here. Very large, as you guys can see. I'm going to cut this out, maybe. There we go. There we go. There we go. And oh my gosh, you get the whiff. And I can barely smell, so you know it's extra strong when you get that whiff of the Chinese factory there. But there's those big wings, those big hands, and some canisters off to the side in that plastic prison. And then this one, we got wing nuts, screw loose, got an extra head, a lot going on inside here. But of course, as usual, I'm going to take this offline, get these guys out of the package, and we'll be back talking all things wing nut and screw loose. All right, we got the giant wing nut out of the package and his partner in crime, Screw Loose. But let's dive into the accessories first before we get too far into the figures. We're going to start with the hands for wing nut here. Two fists of fury. He's ready to throw down right out of the package. He does got a beautiful finger point. He's pointing to Krang. He's blaming Krang for all of his tough times. And we do got two splayed out hands going on as well. And then we do got a trigger finger here, which makes sense for his weapon. He does got the blue gloved hands. Got a little protector on there. Got some big old nails. Looking very dangerous. Looking very dangerous. But I like the fists of fury. Big bruiser like this. We can throw some bombs on somebody if he needs to. I'm here for that. But diving into some more accessories. We do get these canisters. We get four identical ones here. They can be stored on the front utility belt here. Of course, Wingnut, like a modern-day Batman in some ways. Kind of a takeoff of the Batman character, as we know. But he's got a utility belt, and you can store some of these on those belts if need be. Now we're getting down to his blaster gun. It looks like a big old pistol. You got a vampire kind of bat on the end over here. You got the flintlock. Is that what it's called? No, it's not a flintlock. The trigger, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but we do have this. Got the W on there for wing nut. You got a hole in the end, and you can stick any of these in there. So he's got his kind of radar dish going on right there. So you can put that in if you want to. Or, which I'll probably use, is this grappling hook. You can stick that in there. So choose your own adventure, how you want your weapon to be. Looking very good right here. And then, of course, we know about Wingnut and his small wings. Uh, he got some full-on wings. Didn't Donatello build him the wings? I believe that was the case. But these will plug into his back. Uh, nice bluish steel color here. 
there was some steel on the top and then you got his real wings in the back much smaller of course but it just fitting over the top we've seen this before with wing nuts from NECA playmates and now from super 7 ultimate edition but they do got a hinge here so you can move them around if need be and you can even leave these off if you wanted to I probably wouldn't you probably want these on him but you don't have to put them on if you don't want to but now we dive over here and I guess let's look at screw loose really quick first now he's a half of a figure is what we're going to call him here he does got his wings on the back you do got some articulation on those wings that looks really good head back and forth up and down that looks good as well and then you do got the arms so we got four arms on him you have the joint here but no elbow articulation no hand articulation no removability anything like that he does got a tail on the back that is movable as well green pants and an orange wife beater he's ready to go and he's got his uh, goggles on i guess is what you would call those and he is a mosquito after all so he's ready to suck some blood if he needs to a bat and a mosquito two friends who would have thought when usually they're eating each other i guess the the bats eating the mosquito out there is usually the way it goes but it looks like he's got a burglar mask he looks almost like a young hamburglar right here with that mask going on but the main event clearly here actually let's see does he fit on a ringside stand you might need a stand for this guy. He does fit, and that will work good because he's going to be very hard to stand. You need a stand for him. So the ringside Mattel stands do work for him, for those keeping track at home. Now, a guy that definitely doesn't need a stand is he is big, and he's got some big feet to stand on, is Wingnut here. A big figure. As of right now, I believe the biggest Super 7 Ultimate Turtle figure. Until that big gorilla comes later this year, he is a big, big guy. Of course, inspired by Batman, as we know. Love the cloth cape on this one, and even better, some wire in the cape. So that's an extra attention level of detail on this one. Of course, this is a higher price point than your traditional $55, 65 I think he was $74.99, so you got to take that into consideration with this one inexpensive figure. Now, we mentioned his utility belt. He's got pockets, handcuffs. He's got stuff all over there. Dynamite. Uh, he's got a clock. He's got a flashlight. Uh, all kinds of stuff, and then you can store two of those canisters in here as well. He's got a screwdriver in there. Just everything you could want on his utility belt he also has a little tail in the back end that moves around a little brown tail got the spot in the back there to plug in the wings of course can't forget about those wings the cape is removable if you needed to uh, so you can take that off and then you do get the outfit here you got the gray and blue attack like the classic batman my batman at the end of the day i think that looks really good and then you got these big toenails down here in uh, brown both brown skin tone, brown toenail color against the blue on the shoes, the boots, I guess we'll call it here. A lot going on. Now, he's got some gold armor around his leg. He's got a few things here and there. He's got the W on the chest here like a Batman, but he's got wing nut. And then he's even got wing nut on the cape as well. There's just a lot to see on this figure. Forearm guard, he's got a telephone on the side here. That looks pretty funny as well. And he even has a little bit of knuckle dusters on this side over here. So a lot going on in the sculpt that wasn't brought out in the Playmates days that gets brought out in some of these super seven ones which is really cool just really growing upon those old ones of yesteryear is what they're doing with wing nut right here now his head sculpt is very interesting a face only a mother could love you got the mask going on the tongue hanging out the big teeth the big nose the big old bulging eyes and the big ears up top definitely an interesting looking character now the second head i really do kind of like it's more batman like he's looking more intimidating more scary i guess where this kind of looks a little goofy this looks pretty much on brand for something like Batman would look with the stoic face and all that. Not as much going on with this head sculpt, but maybe you don't want all of the things that are going on with this one. Choose your own head sculpt adventure once again at the end of the day. But man, a big, big figure. Uh, articulation arms do go all the way around for us. You do get a single jointed elbow side to side. Hands removable back forth side to side. Head back forth up and down side to side. Head removable as well. Then you do get the waist articulation. I love that he's got the little rip with the belly button showing through there. Legs do go up. Bend at the knee, side to side at the knee, side to side at the top of the thigh as well. You do get uh, ankles a little bit back and forth and then up and down. And then big old feet here. He can easily be planted right down with those big feet to stabilize him. A very, very good looking figure, but a very big figure that's going to kill some shelf space for you. There's no doubt about it. He's a shelf space killer, but man, does he look really, really good. He is very, very big. Actually, I got... Raphael in his spacesuit for a height comparison right there next to each other. So you can kind of see how these guys line up uh, all together right here. As you can see, a big, big boy, no doubt. And then, of course, the Playmates version 
Uh, very, very cool. Very inspired by this version, as we do know. But man, giant sized for 2024. That's what we're going to call it about this wing nut right here. But a very, very fun one, no doubt about it. It's going to be tough. I might have to reset a shelf or two because of the height on this guy, but it could be worth it at the end of the day. A fun one. I would say a little bit of a deeper cut, but he's had a lot of figures over the years, so maybe not super deep. Depends how big of a turtle fan you are, really, at the end of the day. But wing nut, A plus for me. Heavy price point, but man, you get what you pay for. A lot going on with this pack, as we can see right here. But what are your thoughts on Wing Nut and Screw Loose, too? Don't forget him. You picking this up? You playing the long game? You playing the no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over there on the old Patreon. Early access to both YouTube channels. Check out the Patreon for more. A lot going on every single day. Don't forget to subscribe. And then, of course, don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Wingnut, Screw Loose, Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.